Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. So today I wanted to talk about my wish list plants. Plants that I really want, basically. <laughs> I think it's fun to chat about and see what plants people are on the hunt for and I would love to hear if you have any of these plants. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your experience has been with them. So I'm just going to get started and go through my list. I think I have 11 and I'm just going to be attaching screenshots of them because obviously I do not own them. So let's just start. Okay, so the first one that is on my wish list I have wanted for a few months now and that is a medium, medium silver. This plant is just so cool, like everything from the leaf shape to the texture to the color. I think the green one is cool too, but I'm so drawn to the like bluish silvery hued plants. I just think they're so unique. So yeah, I'm definitely on the hunt for one of these. Next one on my list, I am obsessed with. I want this plant so bad. I don't know if I will ever have it because they are not very common, but another silver plant. It is the Hoya Wilbur Graves. I think it's actually a type of Hoya Carnosa, Hoya Carno Carnosa Wilbur Graves, but it basically has like really intense silver splashing on the leaves. Like some of the leaves are almost entirely silver. It's just so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So yeah, definitely a Hoya that I hope to have my hands on one day. We shall see. Also, who knows if or when I will be getting any of these plants because can we just talk about how expensive plants are right now? Like the prices are crazy. They're just going up and up and I do not have hundreds of dollars to spend on all these plants. So some of them will probably just like remain on my wish list. Um, I honestly think that trades are like the way to go in the plant community, but you kind of have to build up your stash before you can do trades. So yeah, the struggle is real. Um, anyways, next one on my list, which I think I actually may be getting soon, is the Philodendron Gloriosum. I would also be happy with a Philodendron, Philodendron Glorious. I just love like the huge leaves. They are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to have Philodendron Glorious, Gloriosum. It's funny because I've seen Philodendron Gloriosum so many times and I had never felt like super called to own it until recently i've just become like it's like a, a switch flipped and i've just become obsessed i'm like i need a philodendron gloriosum like how do i not have one i need one next on my list okay i have a few philodendrons on my list actually like half of these are philodendrons i'm sorry <laughs> but the next one on my list is philodendron billetier i think that's how you say it i don't know um but it's the like long leaf philodendron that tons of people have um yeah i've just decided that i need it as well <laughs> this is such like a consumerist video oh i'm sorry um it's so hard to see all of these plants in the plant community and not just like want all of them but yeah obviously philodendron billetier is just stunning and really unique so yeah and i don't really have any like any of that long leafed shaped philodendron so Hopefully I'll have one one day. Next on my list is Philodendron Strawberry Shake. And yeah, this is a plant that I've actually wanted for a little while. Well, kind of a long while now as well. They're so pretty. They are similar to a Philodendron Pink Princess, but they have more of like a cream variegation with a lighter pink. So yeah, they are just stunning. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. And the next is a kind of unique one that I don't see a lot of people having or talking about and it is a variegated holiday cactus. You guys know I love my regular green Thanksgiving cactus, um, especially when it blooms, but the variegated holiday cactus, like Christmas cactus, Thanksgiving cactus, whatever, are so cool looking. Like, oh my gosh, they're so unique. And I imagine they're super easy care as well since it's such an easy plant, the regular green one. But I would love to have my hands on one of those one day. I feel like that's a plant that you just kind of like need to know someone who has one to steal a cutting because I've never really seen them for sale anywhere. Next one is a Philodendron Burl Marks Variegata, which obviously just speaks for itself again, has stunning variegation, supposedly an easygoing plant as well. Is it burl or burly? I think it might be burly. 
I'm not sure. But yeah, I actually may be getting this plant in the near future as well. So that'll be very exciting. Another Hoya is Hoya obovada. I know this isn't a super rare Hoya. I just don't have it yet. And I think that they're so cool. I love any round leafed plants really to begin with. So yeah, I just think that they're so stunning and cool. And I just want like a splash one, like green with splash would be perfect. It's not, it's not very far out of my reach. I think I will have one someday, but yeah, I just don't have one yet. And I think that they're so cool. Next on my list, I think this last philodendron, it is Philodendron Florida Beauty, which, oh my gosh, the leaves on these plants are so stunning. Like, oh my gosh, probably one of the best variegation out of all plants ever. Like, they're just so pretty. I would love to have one. Um, also to go along with this, Philodendron Florida Ghost is back on my wish list because I sold mine like a month ago, which was very sad but um yeah I don't know I didn't feel super connected to that particular plant and I do plan to replace it one day with another one that I hopefully will fall in love with okay next is the infamous booby cactus I don't even know what the actual real name for this plant is it's just known as <laughs> commonly known as the booby cactus because it looks like a bunch of boobs and it is just so cool like what a fun cactus I really want one. I've never seen them for sale where I live, but hopefully one day I can find one because they're so funny. And I'm really going through like a cactus slash euf euf euphorbia. I was gonna say euphoria for some reason. A cactus slash euphorbia thing lately. Speaking of euphorbia, the last plant on my list is the euphorbia white ghosts, which are pretty much the completely white euphorbia. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking cool. I hope that I can find one of these one day. I imagine it will need a lot of light, so hopefully I can provide that. But yes, that is a wishlist euphorbia for sure. I would love to hear what your top wishlist plants are as well, so leave me a comment down below and we can chat. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not. I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.